Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make any farm animal in Roblox Studios and make it walk around. Um, I will have to make another video for showing you how to make the pig face the right way while it's walking, but I hope you enjoy this tutorial. First of all, you're going to want to create the boundaries for the farm animal to be in. So just um, change the part size to 1, 1, 1. So it's just a small little brick. And then place the boundaries. Let's say I wanted the boundaries from here to here. Name it whatever you want. Bounder 1. Bounder 2. Now you're going to want to create your farm animal. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pig more specifically. That's why these bricks are pink. First of all, I'm just going to create the legs. This is going to look a little cursed. And create the legs. This is going to be a humongous pig. And disproportionate. And once you are done making whatever farm creepy animal that you are making, you're going to want to group the parts of the animal together and name the farm animal whatever you want. I'm naming mine pig. Attach a humanoid inside of there. And now you're going to want to name all the parts. So this is head. Top leg, top leg, back leg, torso, back leg. Okay, now you're going to want to create a clone of the torso and name it humanoid root part. Change the transparency to 1 so you can't see it. And now after, you're going to want to use a plugin called Edit Rig. Um, select your pig model and then click Edit Rig. Now you're going to want to um, hold control, click Humanoid Root Part, and then click Torso. Click Create Joints, and now you should have something in your Humanoid Root Part. Now with Torso... Do that to every other thing. So torso back leg, torso top leg, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me restart. I lost track of what I did. So torso back leg, torso back leg, torso top leg, head, and top leg there. Now you're going to want to take the joints and move them up to the top of the leg. And after you do that, also make sure that you move one of the joints into like the neck of the pig. There, now you finished that. You can turn off the plugin and now create a script inside of the pig. First of all, you're just going to want to label everything inside the pig. So local pig equals script parent, local humanoid equals pig dot humanoid, and then local bound one local bound two equals game dot workspace dot bounder two equals gain dot workspace dot bounder one okay now you're going to want to create a while true do loop do wait math dot random and this is how long it's going to take before each walk so it might walk then stand still for however many seconds and then keep moving I'll do maybe like 7 to 10 and then after do local random 
x equals math dot random bound dot position dot x uh, bound two dot position dot x copy that and paste it underneath it but replace all the x's with z's z z okay now do humanoid uh not that humanoid oh sorry not humanoid root part just humanoid up here okay move to uh vector three dot new then do random x now go back to your bound bounder or whatever go to position and get the y it's the middle value so it is 0 0.5 and then after do random z now i am expecting an error here if it is not i'm surprised um i want to show you something that can happen okay i got an error so if I go to the error, this might happen to you, you can see interval is empty. That means that you need to go back to the script, found when the interval is empty, and just change this. So put bounder 2.position.c in front of bounder 1.position.c, and then if we play again, then if we look at the piggy, like I said, it will face the wrong direction while it's moved. I will be making another video for that. And as you can see, though, the pig will move to a general location inside of the boundary. Um, and like I said, originally, this is extremely cursed. So if you're wanting to make a cursed game like that, this tutorial's for you. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I hope to see you next time.